All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic data structures, use an array to store a collection of data. All right. So this is the first four of these are pretty much reiterations of stuff we already know, but let's go through it anyway. Learn it, right? Uh, so the below is an example of the simplest implementation of an array data structure, right? This is known as a one dimensional array, meaning it only has one level or that it does not have any other arrays nested within it. Notice it contains Boolean strings and numbers among other valid JavaScript data types, all right? So we got let simple array equal this array. And it's got some stri a string right here, a number, another string, a Boolean, a Boolean, and then a couple of falsy uh, data types, right? So the console.log call will display seven, zip, pardon me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, when we do uh, console.log simple array dot length, right? So all arrays have a length property, which we already know, uh, which, it, pardon me, which as shown above, can be very easily accessed with the syntax array.length. A more complex implementation of an array can be seen below. This is known as a multidimensional array or an array that contains other arrays. So notice that this array also contains JavaScript objects, which we will examine very closely in the next few sections. In the next section, why not? Uh, but for now, all we need to know is that arrays are also compatible, pardon me, capable of storing complex objects. All right. So we've got to let complex array, and then we've got an array here, and then it's got, for the first element, this array, and this array has objects in it, like we've done before. I don't remember which one, but I know we've done it. Uh, and then it's got another, uh, what is it? Another array for the second element, and each element in here has objects for its elements, right? So we have a uh, defined variable called your array, and we're gonna complete this statement by assigning an array of at least five elements in length to the your array variable. Our array should contain at least one string, one number, and one Boolean. All right. So let's do this right now. Let's do the assignment operator, so the equal sign, and we'll have the an empty array right here, and inside it, let's do one, an empty string. Uh, what else did we want? Boolean, so true. So we'll say true, and we'll do zero, and another zero, why not? Uh, and so let's come down here and say something like, I don't know, your array dot length console dot log. Uh, come on now. Come on now. Your array dot length like that. And you see it says five and that's the number we were looking for. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to access an array's contents using bracket notation, and we'll see you next time.